Hey everybody, welcome to this new video of Sexpress. I'm going to be showing you how to import, how to use the actual Shopify to your Google Search Console. So I've been taking a look into how we can do this in a very easy way. There's actually a lot of people that show us how to do this, but actually it was like an spaghetti um, video tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be helping you how we can do this step by step. So you don't have to be worrying about the process. We can do this like in a very easy, easy way. So be patient guys, I'm going to try to do this really, really easy. And and step by step for you. So the very first thing you want to do is to have a Google account already signed it in. In my case, already have it signed it in into my Gmail account. So once I do have a Google account already been opened, I'm gonna open a new tab. I'm gonna focus now into search.google.com. Now in here, it's gonna be helping us to improve our performance into Google search with of course our actual web, uh, website URL. So in order to get started, let's focus into start now. I click this one and as you can see we are now inside the search console since we already have an actual account of Google so all of these elements are now been enabled for us so now I might know what you might be thinking we are gonna be seeing a lot of stuff so I don't know where to start once again I'm gonna be showing you how or uh, what we can do so let's go into welcome to the search console I'm gonna hit now into start now here into start as you can see we have the overview the performance, the URL inspection, pages, and much more. If I focus into the upper side, what I want to do is to get started with a new property. So here into select property type, what you want to do is to choose a URL across all subdomains or URL across HTAP or requires DNS verification. In our case, what we wanted to do is to use a URL prefix since we're going to be using a Shopify URL. So I'm going to just leave this like that. I'm going to open a new tab. So what I want to do is to sign in into Shopify so I can sign and take it out my URL. Now that we are all into the same page, I'm going to try to focus and look out for the URL of my store. I'm going to focus into settings and here into settings, I'm going to scroll a little bit down until I found domains. Now here into domains, my custom domain that I do have for free is this one. If you want to link a new domain, you want to actually, let's go here back. I'm going to go for buy a new domain or connect an existing domain. If you want to buy something really, really cheap, I can totally suggest you to use namecheap.com, a great place to buy almost whatever you want to, whatever you or URL you want to. And it's actually really, really low prices here. But in this tutorial, I'm going to be focusing into just the one that was generated for me totally for free into Shopify. So now that we have just um, get the URL, I'm going to copy and paste the URL in here. So I want to delete this option and hit into continue. Of course, I need to have the prefix of H double T P S like this and hit now into continue. Now this one says verifying the actual process. As you can see, the ownership verification should be granted. So we, what we need to do is to add the verification method. There are a few methods that we can do in order to have the Google search console enabled. We have the HTML, we have Google Analytics, we have the Google Tag Manager, the Nomain Name Provider, and the HTML file. This one by default is like the most easiest recommended verification. So we have the recommended verification method, which is actually this one. Now what I want to do is to focus into this one. I'm going to be doing this later. Just focus into the one that says HTML file. Or what you can do is to choose the HTML tag add a meta tag to your site homepage. Once again, I'm gonna focus into the HTML tag actually. Let's go and click here. And now I'm gonna go and copy these actual meta tag below. Now it says paste it into your site homepage. It should go into the head section before the first body section. So I'm gonna copy once again this link. And here into Shopify, I wanted to go into the left part where it says online store. Now, be on the same page here. Let's focus into the three dots and go for edit code. This is the part where a lot of people are actually like too uh, confused of how we can do this. Well, once again, the process is really, really easy. So step number one, click into the one that says layout. Step number two, focus into the one that says theme liquid. Step number three, 
what I want to do is to click into Control F. Into Control F, I'm going to type this logo. And here into Control F, I'm going to type HEF. So as you can see, we do find the one that says head and this one says body. If I go back into the instructions of the Google search, as you can see, this one says paste it into the meta tag below should go in the head section before the first body. So we need to find the body and then the head. So if I go back once again, you can see that we actually found it. So I'm going to go into head. And here into this space, into the 240, uh, I'm going to just paste the meta name of the Google site verification content. Let's go and click into save. Just as we do this, I'm going to go back now in here and let's go into verify. Another solution that I can give you just in case that this wasn't successfully done is to use Google Tag Manager. So what I do liked about this actual verification of the Search Console is that we can do this with a lot of methods. So if the method number one, what was the HTML tag that's not worked, you can choose Google Analytics or you can choose Google Tag Manager or you can choose a domain name provider. In my case, what it actually worked is the actual Google Tag Manager. So what I did is to go directly into Google Tag Manager. And then in here, what I just did is to went directly into creating an account. Once I have created an account, what I want to do is to choose the account name, then later on the country, the container name, exactly the one that we just chose in the Shopify. And then later on, once we are here into your workspace, you want to focus into in here. And then later on, what I want to do is to choose tact and go for add a new tact. So in here, the tag configuration and the trigger should be exactly as simple as you were doing before. So what we need to do is to copy all of this Google Tag Manager stuff. I'm going to copy all of this one and paste this one as high as in the head of the page as possible. So once again, go back into Shopify. Remember that we were in here. I'm going to go into the theme liquid, go into control F. And I'm going to go and look out for head. So let's go for head and hit into previews. And as you can see, here is head. So what I just did is to click into enter and paste my Google Tag Manager. As you can see, this is all of it. Enter the Google Tag Manager. And there we go. And lastly, I need to do exactly the same thing, but the additionally paste this code immediately after the opening body tag. So you go for the body tag and you paste the same tag code there. So once you have successfully done that, just get into save. I'm going to go back here into my Google Tag Manager. I'm going to head down here and I should see that the version is now been live. So everything now should be successfully done. You can do exactly the same thing once again with the, for example, the Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics or the domain name provider. But here I have the URL inspection. Just make sure that you go directly here into settings. And you want to make sure that you have the ownership verification enabled. You are verified owner. If you have this enabled, that means that we have actually successfully verified our HTML file. Once again, if this was, was not successfully done inside your actual website, you can try with additional verification methods such as Google Analytics, Google Tech Manager, and a domain name provider. So I believe this is like the most easiest way so we can do this. So now, just in case you have any questions, look at it down below in the comment section. So thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more amazing tools of how we can do this really, really easy inside our search console of Google. So thank you once again for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on the next video.